Question number nine is from Wave Optics. It's an interference question. There are two monochromatic sources, S1 and S2, and each source has a wavelength of this much, and the sources are separated by this much of distance. Or the other, the angular separation between two consecutive bright spots is delta theta. Man lete ek bright spot yaha hai, dosra bright spot yaha hai. To do bright spots ke beech ke jo angular separation hai, that is called as delta theta. Now, based on that, we need to solve this question. Let's see. The first thing is see. At any given point, this is S1, this is S2, or center se till this particular point will take this angle as theta. Then we can justify if this is theta, this would be delta theta. Now, if this is theta, this angle would be pi by 2 minus theta. And of course, if this is pi by 2 minus theta, even this angle would be pi by 2 minus theta because the sources are very closely spaced. So by the time this wave reaches here and this wave reaches here, the path difference between them would be d cos pi by 2 minus theta, which is d sine theta. And now, for a maxima, this d sine theta has to be equals to m times lambda. Now, let's see, the question says the angular separation between the two consecutive bright spots is delta theta. And that delta theta, which is the angular separation between consecutive bright, decreases as we move from P1 to P2. Let's try to verify that thing. This d is constant and that will be cos theta delta theta and that is lambda delta m. Now delta theta is lambda delta m by d cos theta. Now here you can see lambda m or delta m more precisely would be 1 because that's the step grid between the first and second or third and fourth. Now as we go from P1 to P2, theta increases. So cos theta would decrease and if cos theta decreases, delta theta would increase. However, the option is talking about decrease, so option A would be invalid. Let's say a dark spot will be formed at P. At P, the path difference is straightway D. And it's very easy here. If you see the data of D and lambda, that D would be n times lambda and that n would be an integer because you see d and lambda are very easily relatable. So in that situation, p2 is a point of bright. So b would be incorrect. And in fact, the value of n, even if you calculate, that is straightforward 3000 given the value. Now, total fringes between p1 and p2 is close to 3000. That's right because here, the path difference is 0 and here the path difference is 3000 times lambda. In other words, the 3000th bright point is here. So the total fringes, that would be correct. And at P2, order of fringe will be maximum. That's right because after every quadrant by the symmetry, the things gets repeated. So at P2, the order of fringe will be maximum. D is correct. So for question number 9, the correct options would be C and D. Let's move to the next question, question number 10.